What? Oh. <laughs> All right, it is early, I am tired, kids are going to school. Um, we are, we're gonna go to Canada. I don't know, just why not, is my idea. So, car's loaded up, and I gotta run to Envision real quick, and then we're gonna hit the road, so stay tuned. But we're leaving now, bye. Here we are at Envision. Uh, Tyrell is just helping me with a couple of things, kind of lame things, but we're getting a couple of things made. Uh, and then we're gonna hit the road. Um, yeah, we don't wanna spend too much time because we gotta hit the road. We gotta get out of here. What's up, what's up? I'm not gonna show the secret projects over here, but yeah, we're at Envision. I already did actually an intro of Envision, but Tyrell and I, we go way back. It's been a long time. How long? Like I don't know. Decade, 15 years least, maybe? Least, yeah, least, yeah, it's been a long time. It's been probably longer. So this is the best wrap shop, build shop, custom shop, order wheels shop, anything shop with cars. I appreciate that. Around. Go back there and check out some of the cars. Here with Tyrell, we are walking. <laughs> He's showing me. Yeah, no, this is this is my favorite car here, still in the in the works. This is actually my favorite car that we've been able to work on. Right. I'm more excited about this project than any of the ones that we've ever had. The fact that it's like fully built S2000. It made 280 wheel horsepower. So the GT3, ooh, 992 GT3 for the car. It is manual. Uh. Pretty exciting shop. I won't show everything because this isn't a video about Envision's back room, but uh, I want to show you how cool it is in here. Yeah. It's very cool. We are out here doing some application. I thought I would know how to do it, but I actually don't, and I'll ruin it if I try. So, no, I'm just being helpful. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Our little detour is over, but. We've got some some branding i guess people can now see us and bother us and whatever uh we're ready to go so the biggest kind of complaint that i have with this is that i have to stop like every maybe 250 kilometers um the gas tank's way too small everything else i'm pretty happy with even how slow it goes i'm okay with but the gas tank is so small uh anyway so we're getting um some fuel here in i think it's called snowville this is like where i always stop and i feel like there's not gas anywhere near here uh afterwards so uh anyway these guys are unloading a, a crate over here but that's where we're at we are stopping for gas again uh this one we're not quite at a point where we need gas but i'm not sure how close the next place is and i like stopping at the garden of eden because it's a very weird place so i'll take you inside Unfortunately, they have completely redone this place. There used to be a fountain and animals. I mean, it looks like it's over there, but it's not the same. So let's go see what they moved and see if it's as lame as I think it's going to be. I need to eat, though. Um, literally, the only thing from the old place is one snake, Satan. Here is Satan. But we are in Boise, and that's why there's traffic. So now that we've hit Boise, that's the, the temple of Boise. That's town hall. Get to Boise. Uh, that time we stretched the gas out actually pretty well. I think I went from that oasis all the way to here. So that's pretty good. This is right by my grandma's house. We've got a skills here. That's new. Uh, and we're at Maverick. So that's, uh, that's today. All right, we are crossing over uh, into Oregon. Welcome. Oregon. Oh, we have once again made it to the cement factory, which I think is so cool. Anyway, uh, this is probably the most dangerous place I can be, so I'm going to just take a couple of pictures and get out of here. So uh, we have made it to McDonald's. We're in Baker City, Oregon. Uh, we just got diesel. We've still got like 400 miles to go, so I'm just going to eat really quick, and then I'm going to leave. So. Here we are, everything's been perfect so far, no issues. Uh, the guy just barely said that it looks like it's super sketchy to drive this in the wind. He was right. And he said, it looks like I'm driving a giant roller skate. So let's eat and leave. In typical Brent trip fashion, we rode fumes all the way here to a gas station. And I think they're open. It's weird because in Utah, these don't close. So 
I don't know. Hopefully we're good. But we're almost there. Oh joy. This is what I like to have. Good thing we got snow tires, I guess. Alright, so just like that, we have arrived. We are now in Duval, Washington. Um, it's late and I actually have to work in the morning, so I'm going to just quickly set up the bed and get to sleep, honestly. I've got to, yeah, do that. Uh, almost all set up and uh, I think with that I'm gonna go to bed so good night I'll see you tomorrow all right so we're in Duval Washington we are at Emron's house my bestest of best friends since second grade he might say first but I remember when I met him on the playground so it was second grade uh we've got the RV here and um we've got Emron's cars let's go in and just like have a peek so he's got a couple of I think these are fifth gen preludes fifth gen 2001 she's got those preludes those are sick uh he's got i don't know anything about it but i guess that's a rare audi tt he just got this 355 which it's beautiful and of course the delorean so some fun stuff i like that emron actually has different stuff um in that but uh yeah so we're gonna tool around a little bit today get some stuff done um and then i'll head to the great white north all right, so we are in Emron's car, his very first drive of the new 355. He's looking pretty excited. I'm excited to even be sitting <laughs> over here, and I've been in a lot of cars. That's super exciting. Yeah, this is like everybody's dream car, the 355, and uh, we're in Duval, near Duval, in an undisclosed location. You know, uh, Washington in the forest. In the, so. in the countryside, rolling through the hills. Rolling, we are rolling through the hills in the countryside. I've got zebra glasses on, and uh, Emron looks like he was made for this car. So It's let's... still hard to get in and out of, though, by the way. It's cool, though, because you, like, drop down into it. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we've got our supplies for uh, going into Canada. We've got fuses, oil, oil filter. I don't know what this jug-looking thing is, and, of course the ghost Swedish fish. So I think we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, let's get these loaded up and we'll get ready. All right, so we cleaned the van. Emron is very good at keeping stuff clean and taken care of. And he inspired me to not only watch him clean his car, I did help for a minute. He doesn't think I helped, but I held the hose. Um, and then we got this cleaned up. So it's ready to ear, ear me. Uh, Otro lugar. So we're going to be ready to go soon. All right. So we're just about to take off. I just put this on. It is a diesel two gallon roto packs. Why you might ask, because I kind of keep pushing the limit with the gas. The last time I filled up, I believe this is a 14 gallon uh, tank. Last time I filled up, I filled up at about 13 and a half, 13 and three quarters. So um, the vehicle gets okay fuel economy but it really has a tiny, uh, tiny tank. So there you have it. Uh, we're gonna work through it. We'll see how it goes. This adds two gallons. So that's pretty significant, probably about 30 miles of range for me. Uh, so I'm just tightening it up and I think it fits pretty well right there. And it kind of matches the aesthetic that we're going for. So pretty stoked. So that's on and uh, we're gonna hit the road. All right, we are in Duval, Washington. Uh, we've got little Baymax over here. We're getting ready to get going. Um, it's a really cool little city where Emron lives. But yeah, we're gonna get some pizza. I'm getting ready and I'm getting out of here, so. Um, so I decided to do Google Maps to get up through the border today. It's taking me on a pretty wild uh, goose chase here. I've been through neighborhoods. I've been through everything. They took me off of I-5, which you would cross over into Vancouver. And we're crossing more east, but very strange. It's a very strange route, I will tell you that. It's pretty. It is pretty. There is stuff, but very strange route. So we're going to stick with it. We are about to go into Canada. The border is right there. So um, we are in a very quaint, cute, beautiful city that I don't know the name of. So heritage building. Just looking for anything that might have the city name on it. Literally nothing. Um, so we're gonna go. 
We got some diesel. It looks like it spilled a tiny bit, but not bad. Uh, I've got my Swedish Fish Ghost, and uh, we're gonna get out of here. All right, we are literally pulling up on the border. I can see a wall and a Canadian flag. I thought that that was like a train track at first, so who knew we were that close? We are about to cross into Canada. I'm excited, getting a little bit excited, I'll tell you that. Let's see if they let us in. Just like that, we are in Canada. Oi, Canada. Um, I guess I should, maybe they don't care if I take a little picture right here. They might, but we're gonna, we're gonna take it anyway, so. All right, so we are crossing through, um, Vancouver. We're headed up towards Banff, uh, and I believe, as you can see on that sign, we're going towards Kelowna, and then Kelowna takes you across. So um, we're on this for a little bit. This is a Trans-Canadian, and uh, it is gorgeous here. For another gas stop at an Esso station near Merritt, and you know what? This is the slowest machine I've ever been on. It is still thinking about uh, authorizing my card, and it's been doing that for like five minutes. So uh, I hope this is not a sign of things to come. But so far, the weather has been perfect. Things are going well. We are pacing well, other than this gas station. So, uh, oh, it approved. There we go. See, I don't, I don't know. Okay, so one thing is unique to Canada. They call that the, the washroom. I guess to wash your hands, it's a good reminder, but I use it as a bathroom. Oh, I guess this one calls it a restroom. It's very confusing. Washroom, restroom. I mean, they have showers too, so nothing really makes sense. It's time to get going again. I put in liters of diesel. I don't know. We're gonna go see if it even pumped right. I'm actually a little nervous about it. on lakes up here. Lakes on lakes on lakes on lakes on lakes on lakes. Listen, I do have to admit that it's pretty lame that I keep doing updates at gas stations, but I'm trying to make good time. Uh, we're at the co-op. I guess that's the gas station name here in Canada. And I don't actually know what city we're in as per usual. So we are 400 kilometers from Banff. That's where we're at. So here we are probably going to stop over and find out about these 10 bit uh, measurements that they're doing over here and uh, that. But this this gas pump worked way better than the last one. That is for sure. Anyway, we're gonna load up, we're gonna eat and head back to the campsite. This is a big moment. It's my first time at Tim Hortons with my car. It's so weird to see my car at a Tim Hortons because it means I'm in Canada. So it's pretty cool. Yes, this is where we find Tim bits. The measurement of life. There is nothing else that matters outside of Timbit measurements. Two and a half hours away probably and there's this <laughs> giant i don't know even what they're working on i think it's avalanche control is what i saw a sign for but nobody's passing either way and the road as far as i can see is completely stopped so i've only ever had it stopped this much when i was in mexico <laughs> mexico canada same thing so We'll see how it goes. I have no idea how long this is going to be.
anybody in here. 